that process, I do think with the detail, it became mantra, it became open up meditation, I opened up, I would spend enough time, long enough time, in this meditative position, in order for the thing to actually open up. So uh, that's what I do, because I'm trying to seduce you guys with that rich, the richness of the organic texture, so that it can hold your eye long enough so you can start to see what's really going on. It's a, it's a manipulative technique that I'm using. <laughs> <laughs> it helps rest the eye a little bit. Rest the eye. I am very deaf and I did not hear anything you said. <laughs> you okay. yelled. I said it is helpful to rest the eye in between like searching for the... Right. You can also rest. Yeah. It, 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 if you choose to rest, but you can also just move around on my paintings. You can just move around on which is what most people do with paintings anyway. They find a little spot they like it. <laughs> but if you see, but if it's it, 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 long enough for the energy to actually start to soak in, you start to open up in other ways. So it's many people. It's a part of my, my technique of teaching. I know what I'm doing. It's on purpose. <laughs> you understand? Yes. Totally. You know? And you could do that in these too. If you want to play, if you want to play, you could just throw, you could just throw paint at that, and then, and then play with it from there. You don't have to follow the line. You don't have to stay in the lines if you don't want to. You can do anything you want to. You know what I'm going to do with it? I make, uh, I incorporate, I make tie dyes, and I incorporate. Oh, yeah. Sacred geometry into that, and I could just like fold this thing and yeah, dissect all the crazy folds. Yeah, they just went wow. Oh, wow! wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 But the crazy the colors, you know, are uh, best. I'm a, it's not that I'm not aware of what colors do and how they work, and all that sort of stuff. So I don't, I don't know, there's some kind of a combination of intuitive. And uh, uh, history, knowledge, knowledge of color, and an intuitive use of the colors, and some kind of a game that I play. But I don't have like what you would call a typical palette, like say, like uh, say Goya. Goya had a palette. You know, you can recognize a Goya's palette. It's certain kind of color, certain kind of relief. Rembrandt, another one. There's that Rembrandt's palette, and you can tell. The mirror, there's another one. Uh, you know, Picasso was one of the people who kept changing his palette all the time, which I thought was cool. And so, I, I, I purposely, and I break uh, any kind of addictive connection to whatever palette that happens to work. So I think that the palette comes to me because of the geometry. I think the geometry leads me to a certain power. And I trust that. And I trust my intuition rather than I trust my history. You understand what I'm saying about color? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Color, that's where I'm at. 